Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna go over a quick key programming on this Toyota Avalon behind me. I ended up picking up one of these smart keys and this is actually a Lexus smart key for this 2014 Toyota Avalon. And it's actually the same key off an ES or a GS. This key was an actually better and cheaper key than the Toyota key. I'll show you in a second why it was a better key. So right here we got the two keys. So this is the original Avalon or Camry key that's used, I believe in the 12, 13, 14 era. I forgot what exact range it was, but I'll post it below. And this is off a of Lexus GS or ES. And it's basically the same key internally. The case is different because, you know, obviously this is a Lexus case, this is a Toyota case, but the location of the shank is on the same side. The Lexus one has an extra hook, so if you end up breaking this or that, at least you have a more robust hook versus this side, which only has the hook on the key itself. So we'll go ahead and open up the inside, see the internals and see what you gotta look for when you're trying to shop for one of these. We'll go ahead and open it up. So the original key is pretty simple. You pop the shank out with the button on the side and this thing actually fits right into there and you just pop the case and it pops right off. Do the same with the Lexus key. Put it in there, pop it right off. And I bought this key on eBay. Uh, I'll post a link below if you guys want to get it. It was actually cheaper than the OEM Toyota one. It's just a used versionized one. A lot of guys online sell these between 85 to 100 bucks. And they're the original OEM key. They just probably get it from used car dealers and places that end up sourcing them. But in here, you'll basically look for the part number 281451-0020. It's the same number over there. And the other thing you wanna look for is this G right here. There's a little G on the lower corner and there's a G over here. So this is basically the same internal board and key. In order to program these, they have to be virginized. Usually what they get into the EEPROM chip and reset it back so it doesn't have a car attached to the programming. And that's very important when you're buying used keys. You gotta make sure that they are virgin keys. So this key also came with a blank shank. Trying to get one of these shanks cut at the dealer is a pain in the ass. They usually charge you like 50 bucks for it. What I recommend doing, there's a link down in the description to an eBay seller who will actually cut this key for you for $15. All he needs is either the code off your lock or the picture of your key so he can cut the grooves into it. I'll show you later on in this video how to see what your number is using the lock cylinder on your door handle. So to program the key, you're gonna need TechStream software on your computer. You can do a quick Google search to figure out how to get this program and install it on your Windows computer. So what you're gonna do is just plug it into the OBD port under the car here. Go ahead and get this baby started up on the computer. We wanna turn the car on but not start it. So in the on position, and then we'll go ahead and connect to the car. So we're initializing the USB now, connecting to the car. So it pulls up the car. So there's a 14 without radar. So we just put other. This communications is pretty slow. It's like uses really old serial communication, so not the fastest in the world. But now that we're connected, we want to go ahead and go into select system. And usually it's under body electrical and you want to choose, it's like a mobilizer or smart key. So this is under smart key on this car. So we want to go into this menu and we want to go to utility on the side register smart code registration right here so it looks like there's two there's uh smart the classic registration and smart code registration. i'm just going to go to smart code registration you read the explanation so it's going to go through the steps after this so this is going to be registering key so turn the engine off you know do not carry in devices be aware that each step must be performed within a specified amount of time. Do not carry two or more keys into it. This may cause function to fail. So you want to check all these. I'll turn the engine switch on, engine off. Yep. We want to make sure we're going to get the other key out of here for now. 
So right now I've got two keys to this car. I can't find the other key, so we can program five new keys into here. New keys can only be registered if spaces are available. If zero spaces, you have to delete some. Yep. So first confirm that the two types of keys are separate and place 30 foot or more from the vehicle. So I want to separate the two types of keys, place a registered key in the vehicle. So we want to, we want to separate this one out here. We'll leave that outside. We'll leave the other one on the floor here and we'll hit next. So now touch switch with the registered key there and hit touch engine switch with the registered key. Okay, I'm okay. Okay, and remove the key, put the new key in the vehicle. And then let's go and then should beep. So it's beeping to register the key. So it's registering it now. Complete. And then you want to hit next. So now we got three keys. Okay, let's exit. So I'm done with that. Yes, so we got all three keys in here. So let's. So the new key works. So let's start this up. So it's in the car. Yeah, so it starts the car up pretty easily there. So this is good. We're done here. So what I'm going to show you guys now is how to figure out your key code using the lock cylinder. So figuring out your code is pretty easily on these newer cars. So behind this little cap right here is the access to the lock cylinder. And it's really just like one screwdriver that lakes, takes that lock cylinder out. Go ahead and pop this out. You look inside, we can take that out to see the whole five digit number. This should be a T30 Torx bit. If you don't have one of those, you could probably find a flat head that can fit through some of the grooves. You just spin it off and actually has a retainer so you don't lose it. After you got that, you pop this baby out and you can see the number. It's a five digit number. So the number is actually scribed right here on top of the cylinder. So once you get that out and get your number, just get it back in. All you have to do is make sure the star peg fits back on the inside there. And it probably won't go in unless it fits in there anyways. And then get it back through and then you could just screw the screw back in. Like I said, the screw still stays in here because of the retainer. And that's it. It's pretty simple to get your key number on these cars. Hey guys, thanks for watching all the way to the end of this video. As you can see, this process was pretty simple if you have access to TechStream to program these keys. And it's always a good bargain to pick up one of these virginized OEM keys on eBay. If you need a link, check out the description below. I'll link to who I bought it from, as well as other key dealers that usually sell these keys. These guys sell thousands of these, so you can see usually from their feedback and their number of sales that they sell these things and they always work. It's a much less gamble than picking up one of these new aftermarket ones that might save you 20 or $30. I've got the link down in the description on getting that replacement key shank. It's only like 15 or $16 on eBay versus trying to get this cut at the dealer for like 45, 50 bucks. Anyways, if you guys found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to your channel already, go ahead and subscribe to your channel. I like to post these DIY videos every time I do something to these cars. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys next time.